the city of the sun You could have stayed, it's only over when the day is done I never knew you was a runner, yeah And I mistook you for a son It don't matter what we think when it's all over Cause this is our last chance Is it fun? Fun. Fun. <laughs> After me. Ready? Happy. Oops. Happy. New. 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 <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> April 25th, 2022. It is 3.02 a.m. This is the first video I'm recording since I'm back from vacation, which I was back yesterday, but um, I didn't record anything. All right, so I have a lot to record. There are some tweets that I had bookmarked before I left on vacation. I never recorded, and there are a set of videos that I recorded but never edited. So I am backed up and while i was on vacation i bookmarked a whole bunch of stuff a lot of tweets to share with you so i sort of when i came back yesterday after i set up and uh, put everything away and i went on the computer to sort of rearrange stuff you know, whatever i had on my phone email it to myself so i could uh, see it on my screen i sort of uh, list the topic of them um when I was uh, setting them up on my phone, I didn't copy like portion of the text. I only copy the text link. It's two different things. Usually I copy like portion of the, uh, what is said on the, on the tweet, but this time I didn't do that. I only copy the links and save them and uh, put them for you guys for me to show with you. But um, once I got home, I sort of arranged the, uh, the links into topics so let me read some of the topics before i get started meanwhile you could look at my back end okay so i have uh, invictus last day i have nbc interview these are the topics i have closing ceremony i have flag passed from uh, uh, netherlands to the next country um, invictus germany 
I don't know what that means. And it's two tweets. Uh, Harry versus William. Uh, that's one tweet. Sussex Squad teams together for Invictus. Prince Harry meeting with, uh, with the King of Netherland. Prince Harry with King Netherland. That's the topics. King at the game with Harry. Uh, King interview by kids. Okay, what do I have again? Uh, Prince Harry riding his bike around. Cycling. Roaring, basketball, Harry at the Invictus, Miss Harry living, Harry family life, Harry security, Canada get Invictus bid 2025, that's two tweets, Game, games over, Sussex is party time, Sussex squad are famous in the UK, why is it the UK support vets, okay, maybe I think that's a tweet that sort of talk about the, uh, the Invictus, uh, team or something like that it must have been because i uh, before i left for vacation there were some tweets that i was sharing with you and i was like i can't believe the uk have not uh, really support the vets uh, when i mean the uk i'm not talking individual citizen a lot of uh, brits individually have tweeted some stuff have showed their support when i mean by the uk not supporting their vets i'm talking about like the royal family or some elected officials or something like that that's what i mean okay harry uh when arrived home these are some tweets i believe the squads were making fun of okay harry receiving bike for archie harry returned home from invictus to california royal family dr shola versus angela okay queen elizabeth ii driving herself canada and monarch naked man out of the palace window and some stuff these i think i added yesterday because uh while i was sitting behind the computer i saw some interesting tweets and i added okay uh people i think father-in-law was interviewed by friends regarding some child's stuff okay child rape okay allegedly okay father-in-law okay throwing the sus exit out of a balcony and i think this was at, uh, while i was on vacation some guy on tv was saying some crazy stuff all right and i have jamaica caribbean topics okay what is that sophie edward antigua uh okay heavy talking about lawsuit i don't remember what it was these were and uh while i was on vacation and uh some articles uh game of thrones okay so that's it okay so these are some of the topics i'm already five minutes all right so this is my back end i should have copy uh some of these i'll do this later okay so let's go on twitter let's go on twitter and you saw my front end 310 dollars by the way by now the cycle my have started over okay um i think on the 21st the payment estimate revenue have started over and while i'm thinking of that i'm thinking of creating a joining button where you could pay to subscribe and i'm not gonna make a different level because i don't have time to be uh giving things away or saving people's uh emails or all of this for me to contact i don't have time for this so to sort of increase sort of, of my revenue because I spend a lot of time on this and some of you I know have commented as saying that I should do that. Uh, it's creating uh, like a subscription and I'm not going to try to uh, like every video that I do is throw it on the subscription kind of thing. Maybe if I have some sort of a special video or something I want to share with you that's a bit private or something like that, maybe I'll share it with you on that but the main purpose behind the subscription is just because you want to support me if you want i think i'm gonna make it like one uh, a one level of support where if you want to support me maybe 7.99 okay if you want to donate okay if you want to donate a smaller amount okay besides the 7.99 just go on paypal and donate there okay but pretty much everything that I'm going to show on the subscription and things like that will be, you will be able to, to see it. Anybody will be able to see it, to see it. But if you want to support me, just do that joining kind of thing. I need to set it up and then uh, share it with you. 
and uh, that'll be it i don't have time to make uh, special things where if you let's say 20.99 subscriber or something like that you get something special once a week no i don't have time for this by doing all of this is giving myself more work and i need to keep your information and all of that i do not have time if later on i decided to do that i will let you know but right now this moment i do not have time for that there's a lot of things i want to do and i cannot do it because of the um estimate uh, whatever YouTube is giving me, it's not enough. It's messing up with a lot of things. But I can't share with you some of the things I would like to do because um, I don't want you guys to hold me for it where, you know, you're giving money, you're saying, oh, uh, I'm giving you money. You haven't done this. You ha that's why I haven't done that. And uh, and that's why I'm going to do the, uh, the subscription. At least that will help me to do the thing that I want to do. And uh, like I said, if you want to donate a smaller amount, okay, right now on top of my head, I'm thinking $7.99, okay? Instead of doing two different levels where you do $1.99 and $1.499, another one $10.99, I don't have, I don't want to be doing all of this. Just one fixed fee for now. If later on I feel like changing it to do something different, then I'll do it and I will let you know. However, if you want to, help support this channel there's a small amount you want to donate that's where you go on paypal you donate there and some of you have done so and i truly appreciate that okay so let's go on twitter okay this is my home page i did not bookmark this but since it's there let's just share it okay and i probably will go on my um notification to see what some people are talking about that way um uh how would i do that I could sort of uh, finish some of the topics, like somewhat more recent stuff. Okay, so here, this is an Sussex supporter. Clearly, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle aren't irrelevant. You can't talk about a single member of the British royal family without somebody mentioning them. Every day, every story, every engagement. People can stop talking about Meghan and Harry two years later. Okay. So this was the tweet and some of the comment. The royal family has no one to blame but themselves for their own irrelevancy. For decades, they've done the bare minimum and let the UK media create a fictional narrative. They've steadfastly refused to evolve and anything that doesn't evolve eventually dies out. Yeah, the thing is that they were benefiting, benefiting from the narrative the painting that the media was creating for people to sort of picture of them okay so they were benefited from them so they didn't see any reason for them to change all right and the thing is that many of the brits very smart brits they want the monarch to evolve and change and they easily easily buy into the media to the nonsense to the narrative and many of them whenever they get a chance now i realize it's not so because uh when i share some of those i think l b was it l b n or l b p one of those radio uh stations sometimes that i come across some clips i will share with you many times many brits you know tell pretty much what everybody's talking about okay what people feels what people think and how the majority of us feel and uh, but when it's time for many of them to vote for certain mps that will bring to help the country as a whole they don't do that all right let's see here even to the extent of creating brand new account just to uh, to obsess about everything the Sussexes may or may not have said or done Okay, yes, 24-7 and twice on Sunday. <laughs> There's that. People are laughing. I want to be as irrelevant as them. The hate thrown to Harry and Meghan is amplified and monetized. Yeah, one, uh, one of the reasons they cannot stop talking about them, even with the most stupid things. Yeah, it's just the thing I can understand. The, the platforms uh, encourage that because they all benefit from it. The ne negativity um, pretty much helps sustain the people who are in power, the people who are in a position to benefit from the current system. 
Okay, not just in the UK, in the US too. Uh, yesterday, uh, it could not be yesterday, maybe over the weekend, there was uh, one Democrat from Michigan, who a white lady, by the way. I have to say it because it it, it sort of it's part of that I'm gonna say here. It's a white woman uh, who, I guess, a senator in uh, in Michigan who was talking about, pretty much I've said it in my channels in some shape or form, where uh, when we're talking about race, okay, I usually said that we're not blaming the current white people who are in position right now, who are alive now, about slavery. It's not them. It's just their ancestors were participating, okay, in, in terms of slavery, okay? So we're not blaming the current white people right now who are living breathing walking doing things that lady stood there at the floor of uh, the senate i believe in michigan state and said look i'm a white woman uh working christian uh, married I've, i'm paraphrasing i probably will find the clip and put it i don't have it but i probably will find it and put it here and she says you know we are not okay she and Many people of her colleagues, uh, her neighbors or whatever, are not to be blamed for uh, slavery. But we need to talk about it. Okay? So, anyway, I'll put the clip here. But the main point of that I bring it is that we need to, many people need to stand up for their belief. The same way the others that are spewing the negativity or spewing negativity on social media, wherever chance they get. I, I don't know. Trump is not president, but for some reason they keep on giving him platform to talk some nonsense because they he's in so much shit. The only way he could, probably could get away from it is to be elected, and those people are pretty much trying for him to get back in. So the thing is that we need to speak our truth. I think I have a video with the thumbnails of that. We need to tell our truth the same way the others are spewing the nonsense. So if many white people, they need to stand up because black people, I'm talking for myself now. I don't want to talk for everybody. Okay. We are not, I am not blaming the current white people here for the past. However, we need to teach our young men, young women, white young men and young uh, women about the past in order for them not to repeat what was going on if we look at for instance the current things that happening young men walking down the street just you know knock on wood that doesn't happen again shooting people okay going to certain neighborhood doing those kind of things okay this we could blame this specific this specific individual for what he has done but past current thing for not teaching them the hurt that many black people have gone through where police officers people my age who are in position of power using their privileged position to still behave in a way based on what the facade their perception of people without taking the correct care and understanding and said this is a human being that i'm talking to i need to show respect and all of that so therefore we need to teach those people those kind of things what was happening how we feeling our understanding and morality pretty much mm -hmm. so i take too long on this but uh yeah that's that all right let's thank you mr president I didn't expect to wake up yesterday to the news that the senator from the 22nd district had overnight accused me by name of grooming and sexualizing children in an email fundraising for herself. So I sat on it for a while wondering why me? And then I realized because I am the biggest threat to your hollow, hateful scheme. Because you can't claim that you are targeting marginalized kids in the name of, quote, parental rights if another parent is standing up to say no. So then what? Then you dehumanize and marginalize me. You say that I'm one of them. You say she's a groomer. She supports pedophilia. She wants children to believe that they were responsible for slavery and to feel bad about themselves because they're white. 
Well, here's a little bit of background about who I really am. Growing up, my family was very active in our church. I sang in the choir. My mom taught CCD. One day, our priest called a meeting with my mom and told her that she was not living up to the church's expectations and that she was disappointing. My mom asked why. Among other reasons, she was told it was because she was divorced and because the priest didn't see her at mass every Sunday. So where was my mom on Sundays? She was at the soup kitchen with me. My mom taught me at a very young age that Christianity and faith was about being part of a community, about recognizing our privilege and blessings and doing what we can to be of service to others, especially people who are marginalized, targeted, and who had less, often unfairly. I learned that service was far more important than performative nonsense like being seen in the same pew every Sunday or writing Christian in your Twitter bio and using that as a shield to target and marginalize already marginalized people. I also stand on the shoulders of people like Father Ted Hesburgh, the longtime president of the University of Notre Dame, who was active in the civil rights movement, who recognized his power and privilege as a white man, a faith leader, and the head of an influential and well-respected institution and who saw black people in this country being targeted and discriminated against and beaten and reached out to lock arms with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he was alive, when it was unpopular and risky and marching alongside them to say, we've got you to offer protection and service and allyship to try to right the wrongs and fix injustice in the world. So who am I? I am a straight, white, Christian, married, suburban mom who knows that the very notion that learning about slavery or redlining or systemic racism somehow means that children are being taught to feel bad or hate themselves because they are white is absolute nonsense. No child alive today is responsible for slavery. No one in this room is responsible for slavery. But each and every single one of us bears responsibility for writing the next chapter of history. Each and every single one of us decides what happens next and how we respond to history and the world around us. We are not responsible for the past. We also cannot change the past. We can't pretend that it didn't happen or deny people their very right to exist. I am a straight, white, Christian, married, suburban mom. I want my daughter to know that she is loved, supported, and seen for whoever she becomes. I want her to be curious, empathetic, and kind. People who are different are not the reason that our roads are in bad shape after decades of disinvestment, or the, that healthcare costs are too high, or that teachers are leaving the profession. I want every child in this state to feel seen, heard, and supported, not marginalized and targeted because they are not straight, white, and Christian. We cannot let hateful people tell you otherwise to scapegoat and deflect from the fact that they are not doing anything to fix the real issues that impact people's lives. And I know that hate will only win if people like me stand by and let it happen. So I wanna be very clear right now, call me whatever you want. I hope you brought in a few dollars. I hope it made you sleep good last night. I know who I am. I know what faith and service means and what it calls for in this moment. We will not let hate win. See my notification, this probably some old things that I comment on people right? because at some point i probably uh, will come to them will come across them okay chill allegedly heavy father travels with a teddy bear too <laughs> this is some of the things that's what we're talking about so apparently it seems like uh charles travel with teddy bear too so this is what the squad we're talking about after this i'm just gonna go straight to some of the things that i bookmark okay where are you guys getting the tea? No, right, that's me asking. And then Joanne responded. Okay, Fawcett was also in charge of ensuring Charles' teddy bear from his childhood will travel everywhere the prince went in a plastic bag. When indeed of a fix, Charles' former nanny, Mabel Anderson, will patch up the old toy, the author claimed. My goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, some people responded under that. 
okay it seems first it was in church okay that's the one i just read okay the queen's children have some serious issue and breeding and lack of care disturbing all over okay what does quote a need fix mean in the context serious question i like to finally know what i don't know <laughs> repaired okay there's me responding saying thank you all right <laughs> people <laughs> These people are crazy. So I'm not going to go back to my notification. I'm going straight to the things that I bookmark on my, uh, while I was on vacation. Okay. A little research from the, the law firm worked in with IG Foundation. They clearly said the idea was from Harry. There was only an initial collab between the camps, meaning the Cambridges, Foundation and Harry. Uh, the Cambs, the Cambridges, were not the founders of IG. Oh, a big blow for the poor derangers who want Harry removed as patron. I've said this in a long video, long time ago, where I said, Harry has to be the founder. Doesn't this seem obvious? Like, why haven't other people done it then? So you've created, with your brother and sister-in-law, the Royal Foundation. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've started a charity. My first question would be, do we need another charity? So, you know, what, what was your thinking in, in coming together? Whose idea was this? Yes, Harry, whose idea was this? Whose idea was this? So that's a, um, our, our, my motto is exactly that. Why, why not the charity? I think he was being nice to include the, 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 the Cambridges just for the sake of getting them involved. Okay, and look at as he left, what did he do? He took everything that, was part, that he created. All right, so let me see if I could read the, the thing here. Okay, so I'm surprised I could read it. Okay, the Invictus game were founded by Harry, Duke of Sussex. The inspiration came from his visit to the Warrior Games. Yeah, that we know for sure. He came in the U.S. and he saw the thing that was coming, uh, that uh, were being done, and he that's where he took the idea from. All right, that is very true. All right, the inspiration game uh, came from his visit to the Warrior Games in the USA, where he witnessed the ability of sport to help both psychologically and physically. Okay, let's see here. To stage a unique... Okay, so that's probably start from here. Is it? All right, let me read it again because I'm not sure. Okay, let's see. Here. To stage a unique event of this scale in just eight months, an event that was universally judged to be a success for competitors, spectators, and the huge global TV audience alike was considered un untenable when the idea was first noted by Prince, Harris, Prince Harry in late 2013. Okay, following just eight months of planning. Okay, so I should have read this and then go up here. Okay, following just eight months of planning, the first Invictus game took place in September 2014 in London Olympics Park. Spearheaded by Prince Harry, the Invictus Game uh, were a multi-sport and international competition for wounded, injured, and sick service personnel. Regarded as a huge success, the Invictus Games were unique and challenging in many ways. They were an exclusive collaboration between the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry and the Ministry of Defense. Not only did they comprise a Paralympic style sport competition, nine sports over four days, okay, but also included an opening ceremony and a closing concert. Finally, it all had to be completed against extremely tight deadlines. All right, the success of the inaugural Invictus Game in 2014 is reflected in the fact that future edition of the games are to take place in the USA in 2016 and in Canada in 2017. We continue to work for the Invictus Game Foundation, a charitable entity established as the vehicle to continue the success of the Invictus Games. Our work will include overseeing the host entities granted the right to deliver future editions of the Invictus Game and we will also be working on matters relating to the legacy that the games will leave for the benefit of the wounded, injured, and sick military community. Okay. Working with champions and Victor's game. Quote, the company needed 
critical support from experienced legal professionals in order to stage the inaugural and victor's game within an extraordinarily compressed period of time. Care, Hobato, and Lewis were one of the few firms able to do what was needed. Care, Terry Miller, OBE director and key member of the Invictus Game Organizing Committee. All right, so this is how this uh, sort of started. All right, let's see some of the comments here. William and Kay did not collaborate on the creation of the Invictus. Prince Harry founded Invictus while he was part of the Royal Foundation, the same way that Together Cookbook was Princess Meghan's, that's right, Princess Meghan's project that she came up while they were with the World Foundation. Yeah, that's definitely, is the same way. I, I see that too. And this is the thing I cannot understand. Why the royal family did not see this. This, what Harry did, what Meghan did, and all of that was, uh, went for them. Out of jealousy and stupidity, they wanted to get full credit for it. But they're not willing to do a damn thing. I don't understand these people. This was a huge win for the royal family. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I believe that the royal foundation was launched by princes Harry and William. Then Kate. Oh, obviously. Obviously. They are blood royal. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Prince Harry and William. Then Kate joined after she married William. That's obvious. People seem to forget that Kate, like Megan, are married and royalty is by blood or marriage. Megan is as royal as Kate. That is true. That is true. Royalty is a fact, not an opinion. That is true. Let's see the uh, this for comment on that. Okay, originally named the foundation of Prince William and Prince Harry. The foundation was set up in September 2009, enabled Prince William and his brother, Prince Harry, to take forward their charitable ambition, Catherine Middleton, now Duchess of Cambridge, and Meghan Markle, now Duchess of Sussex, later joined as patron of the Foundation Upon Marriage. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex left the foundation in June 2019 to carry out the project independently. Yeah, because they were giving them so much BS for no reason, because the whole thing was to help people. But those two lazies, you know, they don't know how to initiate a damn thing so they took offense of that when they have the same exact opportunity. If not, okay, the, the Cambridges will have more of support of the firm to do the things that they want to do than Harry and Meghan. But for some reason, out of jealousy, they, 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 they rather go in the hate campaign uh, instead of trying to find something positive to, uh, to, do, to talk about, to help people. Okay, the telling part is if they had anything to do with it, they will never have let Harry walk away with it. That is true. That is true. That is point exactly. Point blank. Right on the money. Bullseye. Okay, if the Invictus game had been an utter failure, it would have been all Harry's fault. Yep, that is true. But because the games have been successful and only getting bigger with worldwide acclaim, Shutter Island is now trying to slither William up by Harry's side. Nope. <laughs> and uh, the thing is that uh, with this past Invictus, this was the very first time, <laughs> now that I'm following Harry and Meghan and then we are on social media, we get to see what really was going on. I would say really, I would say like a glimpse, a glimpse because I wasn't there to see every aspect of it. And some of the squad who were, who went over there, who were there, showed their perspective of things. Okay, we really get to see the, what the game is really about, you know, family members, children, there's little, you see Megan sitting on the floor with uh, the vet's family and all of that. So they were sharing their time with all, all of the teams that were over there because then their whole objective is to help the people, those, uh, um, the injured. Uh, so it's a win for them that they, we had that many participants. That's what I see. And this is why on the very first day, Megan wore white. Okay. Like I said, in many of the videos that were, that's already been up already that, uh, they were there, uh, 
how will I say that to you know as a white flag to show support for all of them they came neutral okay oh my god I'm only on the very first tweet and I'm already 30 minutes close to 30 minutes okay I thought William okay I read this I thought William wanted nothing to do with Harry and had dropped him like a nun <laughs> like a ton of hot bricks William has never had anything to do with the Invictus game has only ever attended the first one in London and has never helped promote the games so he needs to take several seats okay I'm not sure what was being said about that that the same help William gives all his patronage show up and attacks once a year which is why Invictus is successful heavy is hands-on and it's something he truly cares about it's not for sure yeah that is true so you're affiliated as many in your family are with many many charities you're patrons of certain organizations i read that you have about 15 charities that you're affiliated with your brother and sister-in-law have about 35 but that's less than some other members of your family right you all are doing it a little bit differently yeah. so how do you focus so yeah, and tell us that by contrast how many charities might other royals be affiliated with in different generations hundreds um, the, you know, my, my grandmother had to rewrite the rule books to a certain extent. Uh, my father, my mother have also done it, done it their way. And now we're the, the younger generation coming through trying to do it our way because the world has changed so much. We believe that by streamlining and by bringing people together in order to affect real positive change is the only way forward. And you know, it, it, it worked for it worked for previous generations, and we will always say yes to to becoming patron of a of a charity that we that we believe in and that we're incredibly passionate about. But I think in today's world, you have to be involved with with things that make sense to where your passions lie, rather than potentially turning up to a charity once a year. I don't think that's necessarily beneficial to to anybody. Yeah, exactly, Harry goes all in with his projects and so forth not one of them have failed yeah he said that in the obama foundation that uh, you you have to be part of something that you believe in that uh, you know you don't just show once a year okay you have to be uh, passionate about it something like that and i think in another video megan said it someplace else Okay, the poor thing also desperate. Okay, Harry spearheaded IG three years before a work shy William joined full time senior working royal. Okay, they are they were a collaboration with the Royal Foundation because at the time Harry was part of the Royal Foundation. It wasn't the foundation of the Cambridges exactly. All right, so there's more. Let me move on. So now I'm going to the topic of uh, NBC interview. Okay, let's see here. I, there probably is a video, NBC interview, and I think I have either two or three tweets. Okay, and this is why a whole island is having a mental breakdown, loving it. Okay, it's 34 seconds. Okay, when Joe Rodriguez's son Elijah saw Prince Harry for the first time, he said, "Good, can I see the the princess?" All right, 34 seconds. You remember what my son said to you? What? As soon as he saw uh, you? First, he first time he saw me was. Can I see the princess? <laughs> is that and what I was he like, said? Okay, well, you know, I get that a lot now. Do you? And it's like, hi, nice to see you. Where's your wife? Where's your wife? <laughs> the thing is that I cannot believe this is the thing. When he's talking to people, he truly in the moment. He listen. He speaks to so many people out there. Thousands of people. How the hell did he remember that? Well, then again, this is one of a child uh, one of many but there were so many kids as well look at him sitting on the uh that uh, range rover i mean so many little kids were there <laughs> and this is something that uh another thing i want to bring on this clip here the others would have been jealous okay because they were not asking for for them okay there's heavy you know taking as a joke and all of that all right so let's listen i'm gonna move it back a little bit and i will not I'll try not to stop in between after that. Oh, no. Do you? And it's like, hi, nice to see you. Where's your wife? <laughs> That's exactly right. Like, okay, fine. He's like, hi, can I see the princess? <laughs> I'm really sorry. She's not here right now. Can Sweet. I leave? Can you leave and, then, and then he was like, okay. We're not. We're like, how does it feel to be second it's banana? It's always a tricky one with kids as <laughs> yeah, well. You know, know. Kids is like, hey, where's your crown and cape? It's like, we don't actually <laughs> have that. But thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Joelle, thank you, honey. That was great. You 
and the thing is that he's not gonna be the king so even the crown and the cape and all of that he will not be wearing that just my humble opinion on that all right so this is how i why i was saying we get a glimpse of the background okay because of social media now we i guess because of megan other than that i don't know if i would have even know there was an invictus okay i always complain about the paralympics because i'm usually into the um the olympics usually when the regular olympics done and then it was time for the paralympics i don't see it on tv i used to complain a lot about that but now following the sussexes knowing there is an invictus and i guess the very first time i was really following the sussexes it been you know the pandemic happened and they postponed it and now i will say this is the first time where i'm actually seeing what's really going on in the background he's involved he was sitting there in some squad <laughs> was sitting behind him took a picture behind his head was it a picture or video but the squad or something you know and i think i tagged the uh, um page master and said uh something you know and reflect to uh, to his hair all right let me read warrior gabe george also known as the one arm archer had a memorable exchange with prince harry during the invictus game click the link to read about the conversation and see photo from the games all right i'll go into that in a few okay the only reason why they want the british royal family to take away the invictus game from prince harry is because they know it's very successful and on a global stage they know toby don't have anything like this and want it for him unfortunately for them this is prince harry's baby and they can't take it <laughs> oh, i see a video i'm probably gonna stop into this but let's go into that let's see the uh the link i probably will leave the link for you guys oh that's from people magazine okay um if i don't finish with it all i will um definitely leave the link anyway all right Incredible photos and inspiring stories from the athletes of the 2022 and Victor's game. Uh, Prince Harry uh, competition for wounded veteran is happening now in The Hague, Netherlands by Kate Hogan and Michelle Tober. Okay, uh, 7 of 37. Oh, there's a lot. That's pictures. Prince Harry chat with Team USA Gabriel George on April 17 during the archery event. Quote, it was like I was talking to a friend and could just tell people of his time with Prince Harry. All right. So this is like a slide. They talk about each one of them. All right. So you guys could. Oh, so he is. Let me read that one. Oh, there's like 37 of them. Um, but I'll leave it so you guys could check. Okay. Joshua Connell runs with Team USA. Michael Murphy left. Who is blind? Wow. Him. He is blind. And the men's IT6 1500 meter final on day two of the Invictus Games. Murphy, who lost his sight in 2018, Army Mission needed a guide to assist him at, uh, at the left, which is him, uh, last minute for an April 17 race. His teammate, Colonel White, a Navy vet, stepped in just a moment before running his own race. Quote, what an amazing time, said Colonel who is battling stage four thyroid cancer. Oh my God, so many stuff. These people are going through so many things. My goodness. Shit, he is freaking fit. Look at him. And when I look at the Invictus, this is the cause of war. The cause of war. This is what something blew up and messed up his eyes. Let's, let me do one more, but you know you guys oh that was it oh no that was it <laughs> this is what i mean look at them with uh <clears throat> in the background let's see here prince harry happily snapped selfies in the crowd on april 17 quote many of these families have been to the darkest places imaginable while each story is different and unique the lessons are more relatable to all of us than they might seem i am proud to watch their recoveries but even prouder of their service to others, Prince Harry tells people. Yeah, so he's giving them all of them. Every single, it's like almost every picture that you come across, 
you see Harry is giving some sort of attention even the squads okay who went uh, you know just to support and stuff like that <laughs> just jump out of nowhere harry to give him a hug and uh, to give them a hug and he took a moment to do that all right so there's more the link will be in the description i'm going back to twitter and see what other people are talking all right the only reason why they want the world family to say okay i read this there's like 58 uh comment under that i'm not going Okay, a true leader, the Duke of Sussex speech, we are Invictus. Wow. All right. You have all summited your mountain. <laughs> Listen to the Duke of Sussex full speech from the closing ceremony at the Invictus. Okay, it's six minutes. I'm going to bookmark it. I have a feeling I might get a uh, flag for it, but uh, I'll come back to it uh, another uh, time. Okay, there's this here. Look at Princess Margaret of the Netherlands with her leopard pants on i love the dutch modern world <laughs> and i didn't know she was in the she was there because the pictures that i was coming across was the king with harry just having a blast and then someone yesterday actually when i came and i was reading some of the comments and said that uh, she was there and i was like really i didn't know because i was making fun of it because um i find out while i was we were driving back and i was on my phone and i saw i was not driving by the way my husband was driving and i saw that uh, he only have girls i was going on twitter and there was a picture of all of them um the girls and his wife and then he was in the back standing um and I, they said that's his family and i was like oh he only have girls so he is a girl that and i start making fun of uh the pictures that uh you know the videos the clips that uh, were coming out of the thing that uh you know he was more than happy to get out of the house that he to have a conversation with a guy and all of that he was having a blast all right let's see here closing ceremony the hague and victor's game 2022 okay there's harry okay that's him meeting i think i made a reference on that when i first saw it um um, on twitter it's probably in one of those uh tweets that i save to share with you and i did point this out where he bowed his head down that's a show of respect that's the king all right and i believe i could be 100 percent wrong they are cousins they are cousins <laughs> and i think one of the squad saying <laughs> making joke with the queen that he had to uh do something with uh, philip instead look at him he has full set of hair <laughs> all right yeah these were some of the pictures that i was seeing when i was on vacation how much fun he was having yep they were having a blast they were having a blast i guess this is security for the king he was having a blast there he is much respect to the netherlands okay the invictus game will be held in germany flag for the first time in 2023, the German armed forces and the city of Dusseldorf are proud to jointly host this unique international sport festival, a home for respect. Okay. Thank you at Invictus Game Netherlands. Thank you for your hospitality, your friendship, and for finally bringing the Invictus family together again at IG22. We look forward to welcoming you in Dutch Dorf next year. I think I pronounced it wrong. Okay, sorry if I do that. Okay, next uh, next year, a home for respect from 9-16 September 2023. Okay, there's that. And there's more. Prince Harry. These are the things he's passionate about. And he should, uh, he's all in. And in the opening ceremony, Megan have said that, uh, uh, you know, with all, I think I, I already uploaded that video because I did it before I left where Megan was saying how, you know, the sleep, I will not say sleepless night. How did she put it? You know, staying up all night, late at night and getting up early to, you know, to set this game up. Harry, you know, is a lot of time spent. Oh, it is my distinguished honor to introduce someone that I think you'll all be very excited to hear from. He has also spent many late nights and early mornings planning for these games to make them as perfect as possible for each of you. Harry, you know, it's a lot of time spent, okay? Is it okay to mix business and pleasure? I love every moment of the 
uh, we are in Victor's games, especially the friends and family zone, IG22. So I guess she was one of the volunteers. That's nice. So she was having a blast. There it is. Hey, that's what, if you're working and you're having fun, so that's all matter. You most likely give 110% when you're happy at a job. Okay, I have lost count of how many times Wooders posted this clip. Okay, watch Britain, Prince Harry, and his wife, Megan, arrive at the Invictus Games, a multi-sport event for military personnel wanted action. And the thing is that for the little Brits, and I think I said it in one of my tweets where I respond to something. Even though I didn't come across a lot of uh, uh, elected officials, uh, the royal family, coming out to support Harry, but at least for the little people, just know uh harry was the one who created it at least you could be proud of that okay while the others are being salty about it okay it's 42 seconds okay. we've seen it already that we won't be able to hear what they say all right there's megan who came all in white you know saying there's the red uh the white flag i come neutral i'm not here for any individual team i'm just happy all of the players who are participating or there okay that's how i take the clothes okay wearing all white all right look at this look at all the uh media all right only if they the uk uh, people were nice to megan uh, they will have the same access i think i have a video a small clips eight second clip of chris chip saying that he can't show what uh, he saw <laughs> the squad were having a blast with that okay royal rats and authors rushing to write books about prince harry and megan but there's only one book uh, i waited to read okay prince harry okay harry and megan look at him look, i'm saying look at look at them having a blast yep 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 okay love you grant for saying this about prince harry wish more public figures who feel the same say something quote i think as a man it's his job to protect his family so i'm with him you grant defense prince harry the tabloid effectively murder his mother wow he did say that all right that's that all right let me move on all right there's more pictures there's more things a lot of things pictures okay six minutes it's too long i don't wanna there's megan here what is that okay they don't listen until they have to because the status quo is easy to excuse and it's hard to break but it will pull titus right before snapping megan marco the duchess of sussex a minute and six seconds conversation another thing about those lawmakers and leaders and executives i mentioned earlier now many of them or worse, they don't listen until they have to. Hmm. Because the status quo is easy to excuse and it's hard to break. But it will pull tightest right before snapping. Hmm. Women have always historically gotten a lot of when you, and how it's done. When you, when you see what's going on with the royal family, you see how they're going at it. The, the hate campaign still going at it because they're losing a battle. So at some point, it's going to snap. All right? It's going to snap. Let's continue. Done. Yeah, that's an idea, but you know what? We're going to do this instead. But when do we hear that as women? We hear that in the moments that we challenge the norms. So if that's the case, I say to you, keep challenging. Keep that also brings um, the example that I was saying at the beginning of this video, that... Uh, <clears throat> democrat in michigan who stood up in front of his con her constituent to talk about the fact that you know she's a white uh suburban mother married with kids and everything that she's not responsible for slavery all right we keep on hearing the opposite of it you know avoiding the topic avoiding it but at some point people need to listen and understand the past Okay, so this is, I don't know, that came to mind as I was listening to that. Let me move it back slightly. I think she did this, was it for a graduation or something? I think that's what it was, but let's listen. 
say to you, keep challenging, keep pushing, make them a little uncomfortable because it's only in that discomfort that we actually create the conditions to reimagine our standards, our policies, and our leadership, to move towards real representation and meaningful influence over the structures of decision-making and power. Despite what some might say, this real wow. conversation. She's, she's really... Another thing about the... Um, you could see she's really passionate about that. All right, so wow, this is a thread I didn't even know. Okay, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, on Megan, fatherhood, and how Invictus Game changed his life. There's so many things to share with you people. There's too much. These are more um, things. Yeah? So let me get out of this. Let's go to the next tweet. Did I bookmark this twice? I think I did. Let's see. Oh, that's another one. That's another one. Okay. All right, Prince Harry talked to Hoda to hold her about his visit to his grandmother so that's another one it's not the same i almost deleted it thinking it's the same the lengths look almost the same okay um queen elizabeth saying okay prince harry talked to at hoda card about his recent visit with his grandmother queen elizabeth saying she had quote a great sentence a great sentence or great sense a great sense of humor okay, this is what happened when twitter doesn't give you edit button it's sense sense of humor he says he's been quote welcome with open arms and quote and his new home in the u.s watch the u.s broadcast exclusive interview tomorrow at uh, i think i shared this already before i left but let's listen overseas now where my colleague hoda Kampe just sat down with prince harry for an exclusive u.s broadcast interview Harry and Meghan have been there for the Invictus Games. Prince Harry also spoke with Hoda about his recent visit with his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth. How did it feel being back, um, being with her? Being with her, it was great. It was, it was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on, she's on great form. We always, she's always got a great sense of humor uh, with me, and I'm just making sure that she's, you know, protected and got the, the right people around. Well, you, you make her laugh. That's what she always says. Uh, uh, did you do it again? Uh, yes, yeah, I did. Uh, both <laughs> Megan and I had tea with her, so it was, it was really nice to catch up with her. And you know, home, home for me now is, is, is you know, for the time being, it's in, it's in, the, it's in, it's the, in the states, states. and it really, and it feels that way as well. Does um, it? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it feels like home. It feels like home. So he's happy and comfortable with his children and his wife. That's all it's about. Life. Life is worth living. As long as you could breathe and do things, it's worth living. You have to be happy. We've been welcomed with open arms. Yeah. Um, and it's got such a great community up in Santa Barbara. So, so you feel like good. that's home more for you? Yeah. You can catch more of Hoda's interview with Prince Harry tomorrow morning on Today overseas now where my and we need to make it clear he said for the time being okay for the time being the the states is his home and he feels at home he uh, up in santa barbara the community you know welcome him with open arms and everything like that okay for the time being you just never know knock on wood everything stays where he's happy and stuff like that all right let's see oh what the hell is this Okay, the British media, Karens, will be demanding to speak to the managers at the Today Show for years to come. What in the name? Mm, but anyway, can't wait. There's this. What is that? Okay, got my second booster. Okay. What the? Okay. What is that? Dogs are the best people. What is this? <laughs> he took the bigger piece. Oh, he went to give the other one to the little one. Is that a pig? That's a smart dog. <laughs> I don't know where this came from. I think it, it dropped by mistake. What is that? Cheese? <clears throat> I'm telling you, peop things that I see on Twitter, people uh, with their dogs. <laughs> All right, let me move on. Okay, Macron wins the democracy one. Yeah. The French uh, election, yeah. All right, so that was this. Let's go to the next tweet. Okay, I'm 51 minutes. 
Okay, there's that. Y'all notice something special about this picture. If you can spot it, then you'll understand why Honda nailed an interview with Prince Harry. All right, so there's Megan here. Uh, Matt, uh, what is it? Matt Lawler or something like that. Is that uh, Christian? Christian Slater? Yeah, that's Christian. It looks like him. All right. That is that uh, Megan's co uh, co star on uh, the suit. She looks like her, but it may not be her. Here, there's Honda here. Okay, so that's that. Okay, is that Liz Herky, the grifting Megan hater? Okay, I don't trust her. She still asks Oprah, is maybe Harry was surprised some of Megan's responses. Maybe she's just a journalist, but I don't like her. Okay, Megan used to do. A fashion segment on the show way back when I get the impression heavy don't like sharing the limelight with for other women of color what uh, and her field and what what like, did I read this I get the impression Harry I'm assuming H is Harry don't like sharing the limelight with other women of color in her field and yes she don't seem to like uh, was it M and N was it I don't know what's M N N. I get Harry's a prince, but let's uh, let's don't get it twisted. Megan makes him look good. I love me uh, some Harry, but he's playing. Okay, uh, I, um, I don't know, but anyway. Okay, and the, when there's so many abbreviation, it's hard for me to understand. Okay, and there she is. Megan looks the same. Okay, most we end up turning. Yet she bashed Megan. Okay, I. I don't watch her so i don't know what to say with that being said i'm moving on okay she ain't a good person i'm just saying okay so like i said i do not know all right so i'm gonna stop here because i see here i have closing ceremony and i have 10 tweets on that so i'll leave it for the next tweet video instead i'm gonna do a prayer that i saw the squad did so i'll use that prayer uh, for this video all right All right, this is one of the prayers the squad did. Okay, prayer for has Megan, Archie, and Lily, and Miss Zoria. Lord, thank you for a new day. Please protect, bless the Sussexes, their team, and their supporters. Destroy all the wicked plans against Harry, Megan, Archie, Lily, and Miss Zoria. Give them your daily supply of joy, grace, and victory. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So she uses that picture. Okay, and God I trust, and I'm not afraid what can mere mortal do to me. Psalm 56, 4. All right, let's see here. Hear our prayer, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. I mean, the squad, whenever they get a chance, they do their prayers. Look at how many amens to the squad. All right, let's see here. All right, somebody added more. Isaiah 56, Jesus is speaking regarding his second coming. He mentioned the seven-day Sabbath and his covenant. Jesus include false leadership of churches, watchmen, dumb dogs, and greedy dogs, these pastors that only preach prosperity and not repentance for sin, those that preach his lies. The thing is that when it comes to human beings, this is why I don't really push too much about religion. I respect religion, okay? But religion, your your connection between you and God is between you and God. All right. So that's, oh, Mariah Carey is trending. Why is that? Okay. Mariah responds, memes. Okay. Why is she trending? Okay. But anyway, that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And uh, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm thinking of doing a joining uh, button for those who wants to support me further. It's going to be a fixed amount, just one tier, $7.99. And if you want to support and give uh, something different, you could go on uh, PayPal to donate there. All right. So that's it. There's some stuff I want to do and I don't want to do, you know, mentioning it. What in the name is that? Uh, I don't want to mention it and then uh, I don't follow too. So I'm just going to do that. And then if later on something happened and uh, I decided to
create different tiers, different amount for you guys to donate and to support. I'll do that. So that's it. Thanks for your support and thank you for watching. Now I'm going to do another video.